Chapter 7 The Same Continued Be on your guard, therefore, against such persons, that ye admit not of a snare for your own souls, and act so that your life shall be without offence to all men, lest ye become as a snare upon a watchtower, and as a net which is spread out. For he that does not heal himself in his own works is the brother of him that destroys himself. If, therefore, ye also put away conceit, arrogance, disdain, and haughtiness, it will be your privilege to be inseparably united to God, for he is nigh unto those that fear him. And, says he, Upon whom will I look, but upon him that is humble and quiet, and that trembles at my words? And do ye also reverence your bishop as Christ himself, according as the blessed apostles have enjoined you? He that is within the altar is pure, wherefore also he is obedient to the bishop and presbyters. But he that is without is one that does anything apart from the bishop, the presbyters, and the deacons. Such a person is defiled in his conscience, and is worse than an infidel. For what is the bishop but one who beyond all others possesses all power and authority, so far as it is possible for a man to possess it, who, according to his ability, has been made an imitator of the Christ of God? And what is the presbytery but a sacred assembly, the counsellors and assessors of the bishop? And what are the deacons but imitators of the angelic powers, fulfilling a pure and blameless ministry unto him, as the holy Stephen did to the blessed James, Timothy, and Linus to Paul, and Ancletus and Clement to Peter? He, therefore, that will not yield obedience to such, must needs be one utterly without God, an impious man who despises Christ and depreciates his appointments.